My name is Zoe and this is Rockstar Math Productions. Today's activity is going to be actually a little uh, cooperative learning activity called Jigsaws. They're super easy and uh, what I've done, I've just taken a piece of paper here and I've kind of made a fun little uh, a number of different things to do with uh, rational numbers. and. We front and loaded our assignment here, and the students have watched some videos, taken some notes on this. We already have discussed them, but what I'll do is I'll divide the kids up into groups, uh, seven groups, and each of them will have like a different sort of task to do. Uh, some of them are a little more helpful than others. Some of them are just kind of comical and wacky, but uh, I do hope there'll be some strands of rational numbers in there. Uh, also, some of the activities uh, are finding videos, uh, which I'm just going to play while the students are doing some independent practice. We also have a drama skit, uh, kind of a couple of quasi-writing activities, uh, and then we'll just have some independent practice. Uh, until the end of the class. Make creations that are four tiles long, and three of them will to go. You are like a moon to me. <laughs> what? It's, it's not hard. It's not hard. No, this is something that in all of us, both of us. No, and you would say, and the others are dis. What's the word? Disruptive? Like, like. Loud and obnoxious. Yeah. Uh, uh, like, so, me and Anna are going to talk. Okay. What do we do when we're done? Yeah. If you guys got it, then you guys can go get an assignment. So this um, two and there's two. Yeah, and um, two that divided by two equals one. So you don't need to separate these. And um, if you divide four with two, then it becomes two. If you separate these two. Okay, two two. Woo! Uh, we also have over here some uh, rational numbers poems. What does it say? David B, can, David B, can, David B, can you read that? Can you read your poem? That's not ours. I know. David B, read your poem though. Rational numbers, I love dividing them up. There's what I Today we're learning about multiply rational numbers. <laughs> First, the problem is three fourths divided by one half, but we have to change this to reciprocal. So <laughs> we have to go exchange like this, and then multiply it together and cross cancel, and then three second, and then one and one half. Do you got it? Yeah. <laughs> Dana, what are you doing? That's <laughs> 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 a detention. <laughs> because most people don't love fractions and they don't love dividing. Put it together, it can feel like an intimidating problem. But I'm going to show you a trick that can make it easy. We're going to divide 2 over 7 divided by 3 fourths. And while this looks like a scary problem, the trick I'm going to teach you makes it very easy. Need you to remember the acronym KCF. And what that stands for is Keep, Change, Flip. 